and welcome to Puzzle Pieces. In each episode we analyse a different type of puzzle and at the moment we're in the middle of a walkthrough of a game called Paradox of the Cryptomancers which is a game that came out in 2018 and it's a little bit like a computer game version of an escape room. So we're in a lift at the moment and on every floor of the lift there's a different type of uh, puzzle. So we're about to start floor 5. So the lift's arrived and we'll step outside and we're obviously in some sort of outside uh, location. There's some stars twinkling, they might be relevant later. Now most of the levels that we've played through so far have taken place in fairly contained spaces. Um, this one is obviously a lot more open area. Um, and I wonder if um, part of the reason for that, oh there's a fire over there, so let's go towards that. I wonder if part of the reason for that is because um, in terms of replicating the different kinds of elements you'd normally expect to find in an escape room, one of those is a, a search element. So, you know, you'd normally look underneath the tables or pick up a rug or look behind picture frames to look for items in the game and something like that. Now, that's not something we've really had to do so far in this game. This is the first level where we've actually had some amount of choice of movement and, and freedom to sort of go in different directions. But my attention's been uh, caught by this bonfire raging over here, so let's go towards this and see what we can find. So that seems to be the, the only feature at the moment. So uh, we've got a fire and we've got what looks like a kind of a campsite here. Um, we've got a radio and a radio with a cog icon, so that's something I can interact with, I can turn it on. And we've got a note here as well. I'm utterly lost. If only I knew the name of a landmark. Uh, maybe I could. Okay, so. So, reading into that as a cryptic clue, it seems to indicate that what we have to do, and some other items, is, is find out where we are. Let's try back to the radio. Okay, I can. So, clicking on each time, I can sort of. Oh, I can pick it up now. Actually, I thought I was going to cycle through the radio channels, but. Um, I'm getting different sort of stations, that's sort of static, and that's a message of some sort or other, but I'm not sure what it's saying. Yeah, so every time I click that sounds sort of, uh, it's certainly not a language I'm familiar with. Now, I'm trying to tune the radio to something else. Um, one of the criticisms I've had of this game in other levels, oh, I've picked it up again. Um, the you know, the, the the puzzles are clever, but the way they're implemented is often a bit klutzy. Oh, okay, I'm getting a... So that's Morse code. Is that going to loop? Yeah, so that's a, that's going to be a looping message. Right, and also I noticed that the static has disappeared, so I'm going to carry on walking in this direction. If I change direction, the static returns. So, just... There we go. You know, going by the the normal affordances of objects that you'd expect to have. So a radio where you have a clean signal, that's just intrinsically going to be more appealing uh, for you to want to have that rather than one that generates a static signal. So there's no instructions. Oh, I've dropped the radio. Let's try and tune it to another channel. No, that's that one again. Ah. So this is so frustrating because I kind of know what I want to do. I want to... Oh, getting a... Different sort of signal there. Okay, and um, stepping backwards a bit. Let's try and see if we can get that back to a clean. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely picking up something different in this direction again. So I'm wondering, with the note that said, if only I knew where I was, I'm wondering if this is going to sort of lead me to a location that I have to be in or something, or. Um, Maybe if I could work out how this stupid radio works and I could actually tune it to the correct channels, um, I could triangulate three different positions. But um, as it is, so this seems to, be, seems to be guiding me towards this area here somewhere. Uh, okay, I'm just going to wander around a bit and we'll, we'll see if I can actually make oh, hang on, any more sense of this. Okay, so it seems that there's a couple of different radio stations and uh, they are transmitting Morse code messages. 
And there's also a kind of a throbbing, uh, kind of low frequency resonating noise, which, like this one. And this is guiding me towards a spot over here somewhere. Um, now, if only I could work out exactly where that signal is strongest. Feels like it's about there. So, there must be something that I'm meant to find here. Oh, this is just, you know, this is a... Again, this is a frustrating puzzle. Like, I like the fact that I'm trying to locate where I am. Um, you know, the radio, the radio tuner sort of um, triangulating points to get to a stronger signal. That's all fine. Um, but the actual implementation in the game of trying to find the exact spot where I'm meant to get to is just super frustrating sometimes. Um, so it's kind of a hillside here. Where am I meant to be? I've put the radio down on the point where I thought that the actual signal was strongest so that I know if I step too far away from the radio then I'm, I'm off target. Yeah, you see the signal's definitely... I've gone too far now. If I go back towards it again, where are we going? So maybe it's strongest about there. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, crud, there's like one rock I have to click on? Seriously? Where the heck am I? I'm just... Okay. So, bye-bye Sky. So we've stepped on, like, the perfect pixel on the floor we were meant to step on, obviously. Uh, and we're sort of going down some kind of lift shaft thing. Um, oh, are we there? No, I've kind of got stuck halfway down. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's just jump down the last bit. There we go. And there is the computer terminal. So every level has a computer terminal on which we're going to have to enter a password to solve the level. Now, this is interesting because rather like in the last level that had a QR code maze and traversing the maze actually gave me the solution that needed to be entered into the console, here we all we've done apparently is navigated through the level to the point where we get to the console that needs to have an R password but we haven't explicitly been told a uh, puzzle that needs to be solved to enter the password so to do this we're going to have to rewind a little bit more and check all the information we had so having wrestled with that radio for quite a long time i eventually managed to get the three different morse code signals that were being transmitted and they were the letters dvc CIM and PUB. Now those letters correspond to the unique identifiers of three radio mast transmitters in the USA um, and using uh, this website Skyvector which is designed for planning flight routes and things like that you can actually uh, plot them on the map. So here I've got DVC which is Dove Creek uh, here I've got um, PUB, which is uh, Pueblo Memorial Airport, and down here we've got CIM, which is uh, Simera. And, um, you know, so that was quite clever because the, the Morse code, which was a radio signal in the game, was actually cluing a radio mast in real life. And now using the note that we found at the campsite that said, if only I knew a landmark, I could ask for help. Um, what I figure we've got to do is to triangulate our position from the center of those three radio masts. Now that's the theory. The practice actually turns out to be a little bit harder than that. So um, I began by kind of zooming in on the the rough centroid of this triangle um, which would place us somewhere in this area here and we've got a couple of um, sort of landmarks so we've got uh, Del Norte Peak, Horseshoe Mountain, um, we've got the town of Del Norte and South Fork and down here we've got Jasper. So we're somewhere in this area and I kind of tried scanning around and typing every single place name on this map and none of them were accepted. Um, but you can see I can only zoom in a, a certain amount on this plan. So what I then decided to do was go to Google Maps instead and look for the same area. And eventually if you zoom to the highest level of magnification in Google Maps and scan the area, eventually you can find this place here called uh, Baraclaws Canyon. And uh, if we type that in,
we'll find that that is the solution that unlocks the puzzle. So, um, as I've said a couple of times when I've been playing through this game so far, it's a clever puzzle. I like the fact that the Morse code is used in context. I like the fact that the use of the radio in the game clues the radio mask transmitters in real life. Um, but the searching, well, the operating the radio in the first place was, was pretty clumsy. The finding the exact pixel on the terrain that we had to click on to descend into this kind of bunker under the ground and then to search for the exact place name as well was just the process was was not good um you know the aha moment was nice but then following the process was pretty tedious so um we'll go on to the next floor and we'll see what that has in store for us next time